Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be explaining to you how to install Grand Theft Auto 5 via crossover on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So this is going to be a follow-up tutorial from my previous video where I gave the basic outlines but this time I'm going to go into more detail. So the reason that I'm redoing this tutorial is because a lot of people have been asking me to source the original files that I've been using because we need to use a cracked version of Grand Theft Auto 5 and I have a strict no piracy rule on my Discord so I've been unable to share the original torrent link. However, because this has been one of the most requested things of my Discord, it's getting a little bit irritating and so what I've decided to do is make an exception and provide the hash for the torrent, which you can basically copy and paste into Google and then locate the torrent that you want to find. So the reason I've done this is because Grand Theft Auto 5 has been on sale for a very long time. Most people do own a legitimate digital copy of the game. It's also been given away for free on the Epic Game Store. And the only reason that doesn't work through crossover is because of the integration with the Rockstar Social Club, which is a form of DRM which is not compatible with crossover and therefore I'm going to provide the hash that's on display at the moment and put this in the description of the video so please check this please insert this into Google and when you do download a torrent from the internet please be very careful not everything is going to be safe especially when it comes to files that don't come from a reputable source so anyway I'm going to go through step by step what you need to do with the Canuck 77 torrent files in order to go on to the next step and then install it onto your M1 Apple Silicon Mac and get Grand Theft Auto 5 single player working at around 60 frames per second. So the first thing that we're going to need is a copy of the Grand Theft Auto 5 files in this repack by Canuck77. I'm sure that other repacks of Grand Theft Auto 5 will work, but this is the one that worked for me. It should have a folder structure like this. It should contain six .arc files, as well as a setup.exe, as well as this redistribution and FAQ folders here. Once you have this file downloaded and connected to your M1 Apple Silicon Mac, we can move on to the next step. So the next stage is going to involve the installation of the crossover software. So what I do recommend that you do is to visit my advanced crossover guide and this is going to help you understand how to set up crossover for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. The most important thing is that we make use of the latest version of crossover. So crossover 21 has a 14 day free trial. If you follow the link in the description you'll be helping to support the channel as well as the work that I do. If you use the coupon code Apple Gaming Wiki you'll also get a 25% discount. So what I've got open now is Crossover 21 on my M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And what I'm going to do is, after you've followed the advanced tutorial and you've installed Crossover already, what I'm going to do is to go to the lower left hand side of the screen and then click the new bottle menu button here. And then I'm going to make a new bottle and I'm going to call this one Grand Theft Auto 5. And then we're going to go to this drop down and make this a Windows 7 64 bit bottle. And then I'm going to press create. So once this bottle is created, I'm going to select the bottle here. If you can't see the bottle sidebar, then you can click this button here to enable the bottle list. And then we can see that the Grand Theft Auto 5 is selected. And what we want to do is to run command here. So I'm going to double click on run command and we've got the Grand Theft Auto 5 bottle listed here. I'm going to click Browse. And what we want to do is to navigate to the Grand Theft Auto Canx 77 file. So I have the file listed in this stuff SSD, and I'm going to navigate to the folder where I've downloaded it to. And what we want to do is to run the setup.exe. So now I'm going to press Open. Now that we've got the correct file path and the correct bottle, I'm going to press Run. So here we're going to press OK. And so we're going to press Next here. Next again. And here it's saying that it wants to install within the bottle itself. Now, the bottle file is within the internal solid state drive. And unfortunately, I don't have enough space. This is what this error message is telling me. I suspect that a lot of M1 Apple Silicon Mac users won't have enough space on the internal drive. So I'll be installing it on this external solid state drive here, at least temporarily, because basically the source files are 92 gigabytes in size and they're gonna be extracted again. So this is not the actual extracted file. This process that we're enacting now is going to extract the game files into another folder. So not only do we need enough space for 92 gigabytes, we need another 100 gigabytes or so just to unpack the files themselves. So I recommend doing this on an external drive and I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So we want to basically browse to the external drive again. We don't want it to be installed onto the C drive. We want it installed on the solid state drive, which I've called stuff. So I navigate down to the slash here and press plus, And then I scroll down to volumes and press plus, And then I'm gonna find my stuff volume here. And then I'm gonna select stuff and then it's gonna install into the new folder called Grand Theft Auto 5 and press okay. So it's gonna create a new folder for us. And now all we're gonna do is press next and uh, we can ignore this. I'm gonna press next again here. I'm gonna leave all these dependencies turned on and I'm gonna press next now. Here I'm gonna press install. So basically this process is gonna take 
quite some time. So just let this run for uh, as long as you need to. It's basically unpacking all of the minute files because the torrent file has been compressed. So just let this run for a little while. So once this process is complete, this might take a little bit of time. It took around six hours to complete. So make sure you have plenty of time for this process to finish. And now it's just basically loading up the dependencies that are required. So th these are the checkboxes that we tick. So if you do enable those checkboxes, uh, some of these dependencies won't install correctly. I think that's just due to the way this Repax installer works. So we can just in reinstall these dependencies ourselves. I'm going to allow this to install the Microsoft C++ redistributable. That one has worked. 64-bit version of the redistributable. This is the second to last checkbox regarding cheat trainers. So I'm going to allow this. I'm going to put this into the installation folder, which I selected on my solid state drive. This is for the 5M multiplayer mod. I'm not actually sure if this works, but we're going to try installing it anyway. I'm going to put it inside the GTA 5 folder just for convenience. Put these checkboxes in. And I'm going to say no to this and then finish. So we finished installing Grand Theft Auto 5. So now that we have our GTA 5 bottle already and installed, what I'm going to do is to control click on the bottle itself and then go to settings. And then what we want to do is enable the DXVK backend for D3D11. This will allow us to run the DirectX 11 game through crossover and get some pretty good performance through that. So next thing we need to do is to select the English language. It's going to default into the Russian language unless we change it to English. So what we're going to do is double click run command and then we're going to make sure we're using the Grand Theft Auto 5 bottle. And then we're going to navigate to our Grand Theft Auto 5 install path. And then we're going to select this one here, which is the GTA 5 language changer, not this one, which is GTA 5 language select, we want this one here, and press run. And then here we're going to change the language to English, so I'm just going to click here, and then I've changed the language to English, and I can close this now. So if you have the path of the game as a shortcut here, then you can just double click this, or you can just press run command, make sure on the GTA 5 bottle, and then navigate to the install path, and then double click on the GTA 5.exe. We can save this command as a launcher by clicking on here if we don't already have a shortcut here. And then we can press run. And also before we actually run the game, we need to install the DirectX dependency. This didn't install correctly during the installation process. So just click on install a application and then we're gonna type in DirectX for modern games. We wanna select that. And we're going to make sure we select the Grand Theft Auto 5 bottle here and press install. Press yes. Accept the agreement. Next. So here we just click finish and then we press done. So one last thing that we need is a controller. So I'm using the Microsoft Xbox wireless controller for the Xbox One, and this is gonna be paired by Bluetooth. So in theory, you should be able to use any controller that's compatible. So most controllers are compatible after macOS 11.3. I advise you to update to the latest version of the Mac operating system. The reason that we need a controller is because there is a keyboard bug with Grand Theft Auto 5. If you press a key during the gameplay, then the game will actually pause for four seconds. This is a known bug and the only real workaround at the moment is to use a wireless controller like this one. Anyway, once you're all ready, then you should be able to load up the game. Just double click on your GTA 5 shortcut here and then the game will launch and then you'll be able to play the single player version of this game. So at the time of recording, we're only actually able to play the single player campaign through crossover. If you wanted to play multiplayer, this is not going to be an option. This is because the Rockstar Social Club handles all the multiplayer servers and we're not able to log into the Rockstar Social Club. Also, fan multiplayer such as 5M is not compatible either with Wine or Crossover. So therefore, if you did want to play online Grand Theft Auto 5, then you're going to have to use the Parallels version of the game, which does not perform nearly as well as the crossover version. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.